holy cow, it's our wedding day. From the very first moment that I locked eyes with you at Maurice's house, when we went there for coffee just after church, I knew that you were going to become someone very special to me. Every single day since then, I haven't stopped thinking about you. You are my world. I now have the privilege of calling you my wife. I can't actually believe it. This still doesn't feel real. Neither does our past eight and a half years together. But you know what? That's how dreams are. Just perfect. I love you with all my being and I will continue to until my very last breath. I love you, my best friend slash wife. Dear Gav, today is the day I've dreamt of, wished for and prayed for. When I first met you at church around nine years ago, I really hoped that you would be the one. And now, in a few hours, we'll be getting married, and I've never been more excited for anything in my entire life. You have grown so much since we first met, and I could not be more proud of the man you have become. You have shown me what true strength is, and what it means to be treated like a princess. You have taught me not to take life too seriously, and you have honestly made my life far more interesting with all the crazy stuff you say and do. I cannot wait for all our adventures to come, and I get to love you, and it's the best thing that I'll ever do. See you at 3 p.m., husband. Love you. Ladies and gentlemen, before they kiss, I present to you Gavin and Lindsay, husband and wife. Gavin, please kiss your new bride. <laughs> When I met Linz eight and a half years ago, it was just after our church evening. The first sort of proper interaction we had where a sort of attraction started building was, I was when I was doing drama at school. Lindsay was also involved in her house plays at the time and she needed a little bit of help with the script. And I said, fantastic, I'm, I'm your guy, Look, bring me over, where do you want to meet? She was like, my house. I said, fantastic, name, name the time I'm there. And we ended up spending the entire afternoon in Joan and Graham's kitchen baking brownies and just speaking absolute rubbish to each other. And I think it was my first sort of interaction with Linz where I knew this was someone special. And this was someone that I needed to make a move to ensure I can hold on to her. Because from that moment on, I knew I needed to do everything I possibly can to make this woman my wife. You've been an absolute blessing to me. I would not be the man I am today in physical, mental, or business sense, if it wasn't for you. You've been able to motivate me and see my true value more than anyone else.